What's up, guys? Luna Wolf from XS here. I figured I would give my predictions for uh, UFC 235. I think it's 235. I can't remember. Whatever. I figured I'd give my predictions for it. Um, <clears throat> so, let's go ahead and get started. Cody Garbrandt versus, this is the first fight on the card, Pedro Munoz or whatever. I can't pronounce his name. Cody Garbrandt needs a win. He's got to win this match. Uh, I don't know much about Pedro. I've seen him fight before, but I don't know a whole lot about him. But Cody is in a have-to-win situation, so he's going to need uh, to really put on a show tonight to put himself back in the title talks uh, where he can get... If he loses, he is gonna. Uh, that's going to be horrible for his career. I want to say he's lost two in a row. I can't remember. Uh, but... To the same guy, to uh, Dillashaw, but yeah, he's got to win tonight. I think Cody's gonna, he's gonna pull it off. I think he's gonna win. They got to get him back in the win column, and he knows it. So I think he's gonna win. Um, as for the woman's fight, I don't know anything about either one of these women. So if I had a gun to my head and I had to pick, I would go to Well Welly Zhang, because only for the fact that she's eighteen and one, and the other girl's ten and three. That has nothing to do with really with anything, but she's had more fights, so I'm gonna go with Welly Zhang. Uh, I don't know. Did I say on the bantamweight? Did I say? Uh, I feel like I said five rounds for the uh, Cody Garbrandt fight. I don't know if I did or not. Whatever, who cares? So uh, I think that one's gonna go to decision the uh, the women's strawweight fight. As for the welterweight fight, Ben Askren is coming to the UFC. This is his first fight. He's undefeated and he's fighting Robbie Lawler. This is a really bad uh, matchup for Ben Askren. Really bad matchup for him. But I think he's going to win. I think he's going to pull off a, a, a decision. Because um, I don't. I feel like he's not going to. You're, you're not going to knock out Robbie Lawler. Unless you throw what um, Tyrone Woodley threw. A dead gum haymaker from nowhere. Uh, you're not going to knock out Robbie Lawler. And the longer, there's a, a, a video on the internet, if you look it up, called Fifth Round Lawler. Uh, Lawler, in the later rounds, actually becomes near invincible. It's the weirdest thing I've ever seen. He becomes almost unstoppable. Uh, but I think Ben Askren, right off the bat, is going to pressure Robbie Lawler. And he's not going to allow him to breathe or take a break. And I don't think Lawler's going to be able to withstand it. I don't know who I want to win in this fight. Because I like Ben Askren and I like Robbie Lawler. If I had to go with anybody, I would probably say I want Robbie Lawler to win. But I actually, I kind of want Ben Askren to win. Because if Robbie Lawler wins, yeah, it's another you know notch on his belt. If Ben Askren wins, that put, starts putting him into uh, you know the top, top five. And... Um, he can start talking about title shots. If Ben Askren starts winning a lot, he can talk about that. What's that? Is it the uh, the 160 class they want or 165 or something like that that Ben Askren wants? Because he doesn't want to fight his best friend who is in the co-main event, Tyrone Woodley. Uh, oh, yeah, uh, the Robbie Lawler, Ben Askren, uh, it's going to go to decision. Ben Askren's going to win. I think he's just going to tire out Robbie Lawler. But... Ben Askren's friends in the co-main event, Tyrone Woodley, they're good friends, so they don't want to fight each other. They train together, all that. They know each other's secrets, as in fighting techniques and all that stuff. Uh, but Tyrone Woodley versus Karmaru Usman. Uh, Tyrone is literally going to put Usman on the mat and beat a hole into his face. Usman's not going to have anything for Tyrone, I'm telling you. Uh, if I had to predict the fight, I'm, I'm going to say Tyrone Woodley, maybe a second round knockout. Uh, I think I think Usman is the perfect perfect height for Woodley to throw an overhand right and just destroy him. Uh, but yeah, Usman's not even, this is going to be a joke of a fight. Tyrone Woodley's going to just uh, mop the octagon with him. But I'm going to go with a second round knockout for uh, Tyrone Woodley. Now the main event... John Jones, if y'all know, has failed. Uh, he's failed two drug tests again, but they're saying that it's the same substance he took back when he was born or something. They're like, it's it's a substance he took 20 years ago showing up. Now, I have heard that the testing's a whole lot stricter and the science is a whole lot better, but uh, at the same time, man, he is... I mean, it's, it's, be, it's come to now where 
it um like uh, John Jones fails the drug test and nobody really cares because he fails all of them. So nobody cares anymore, and the UFC doesn't care, and it's not a big deal. It doesn't make headlines anymore. John Jones fails the drug test. Oh, really? You know the sky's blue, but um, which is crazy because John Jones is so young. It's like why why did you take steroids if it was the steroids that they say it's from like six months ago or a year ago or something? Why are you taking steroids, man? You're the greatest fighter in the world, and uh, you're young. So, I mean, there's literally no point. Um, he is. That being said, Anthony Smith is. What is. He's got a lot of fights. He's 31 and 13. He has a lot of fights. I don't think he's really made a name for himself to get a title shot. I know he's beat a lot of people, but I'm saying, as in, like, when they announced Anthony Smith. I, I watch a lot of MMA videos and uh, I read the comments, stuff like that. Everybody was like, who? And everybody had to look this dude up and be like, who is Anthony Smith? Um, but all that being said, John Jones is going to, it's it's going to be like a, a man fighting a, an infant. John Jones is going to destroy Anthony Smith. The, the co-main and the main event might as well be the same exact fighter, same fight. Tyrone Woodley's going to destroy Usman. It's not even going to be a fight. John Jones is going to destroy Anthony Anthony Smith. It's not even going to be a fight. Um, now, they could shock the world. Anthony Smith could shock the world because all it takes sometimes is one punch. But I don't. I think you could hit John Jones in the jaw with a sledgehammer and, and it, it hurt him a little bit. But, um, yeah, John Jones is going to destroy Anthony Smith. There's no way. There's no universe in which Anthony Smith beats John Jones. It's just not going to happen. Anthony Smith. I've watched his fights. When I was trying to figure out who he was, I went back and watched a lot of his fights, and he's slow. He's predictable. Uh, the only thing he's got is heart. You know, that's it. That's his only quality. It'll. And it'll. You know how at the bottom of the UFC screen. When the fighter's walking out, it says the things they're good at or whatever. You know, they got this many knockouts and all this stuff. I guarantee you one of the one of his qualities they put on there will be he has heart. Or like, uh, he's tough. He's durable. It'll be something stupid like that. Um, I would like to see John Jones knock him out. If I had to choose John Jones as the winner, I would like to see him knocking him out. But I don't think John Jones is going to do that. I think John Jones is going to drag this fight out. Um... And I think it's going to go to a decision. I, I feel like John Jones is just going to toy and play with Anthony Smith and take it to a decision. Apparently, Anthony Smith is really good at uh, at uh, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. So we will see if John Jones wants to try. And, John Jones likes to prove that he's better than people in their own uh, own areas. I, I think John Jones could come out and just want to play Jiu-Jitsu games all day night with Anthony Smith, but I don't know, but yeah, that's my thing, so Cody Garbrandt, I'm going to say he uh, I'd like to see him get the knockout, but I can't remember what I said earlier, I think it's going to be a decision in Cody Garbrandt's uh, go, go Cody Garbrandt's way, uh, I'm going with Welly Zhang on the women's strawweight, because I have no clue who they are, uh, welterweight I'm going to go with Ben Askren by decision, uh, and then uh, the welterweight co-main event, I'm going to go with um, Tyrone Woodley by knockout in second round. And then the light heavyweight fight with John Jones. I'm going to take that one to a decision. And John Jones, I, I think it's going to go. Because you could get the weirdo John Jones that comes in knowing he can beat the guy but just doesn't. Because uh, he thinks he's entertaining people if he drags the fight out for five rounds. But who knows. Uh, so that's, that is my predictions. Y'all let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, I like how I'm giving out my predictions, even though nobody really cares. So people are like, who are you? You know, like, <laughs> But I mean, that's my predictions. And I hope that I'm right on this and that I can come back and do a video maybe tomorrow about it and be like, look, uh, I got these fights right. I could be completely wrong. That would be crazy if I got every single one of those wrong. As in the winner. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if Tyrone Woodley didn't get a second round knockout. But as in the winner, the people who have chosen to win those fights, I would be surprised if, if I lose any of them. Maybe the women's strawweight fight, because I don't know anything about either of those. But the other fights, I'm telling you, that's who's going to win the fight. That's exactly who is going to win. Cody Garbrandt's going to win. Ben Askren's going to win. Tyrone Woodley's going to win. John Jones is going to win. It's going to be like a script. It's going to be like they're reading from a script, and they know what has to happen. But anyways, appreciate y'all watching. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. 
this video went 10 minutes. I hate when videos go 10 minutes because a lot of people, uh, they extend videos out for the ad revenue, but I don't know. Whatever. I don't do that. I just click monetize the video. I don't click, I don't customize my ads or anything. I just click monetize the video and it puts like one ad on the video. But anyways, appreciate y'all watching. Check me out SoundCloud, Instagram, Twitter, like always. Check me out the streets.